Fun facts, the more you know. <laughs> That's why you don't walk backwards on the trail. everybody out there in YouTube wasteland it's your good old pal Jess and we are hi -o. Woo! hike your own hike with us <laughs> today Blitz and I are headed into what the Libby locals here call the horse range. And don't worry about trying to find this on the map because you're not gonna find it under the horse range. It's come to my understanding the reason that it's called the horse range is because in the 1900s, the Forest Service brought their horses up here to store for the winter time or whatever to feed. I'm not certain. And then by the 1940s, they eradicated the horses, terminated them or moved them, whatever they did. I don't know, so don't quote me on that. But yeah, that's why it's called the horse range. Fun facts, the more you know. That's why you don't walk backwards on the trail. I'm seeing some old fences right there. So I wonder if that's where they kept the horses at then, but I thought this was like a free range or something. I don't know. Don't listen to me, I'm kind of crazy. Today's little adventure is just about getting out, getting moving, trying to get rid of some of that seasonal depression bullshit. You know, those feelings that you get, you know, that itch in the back of your throat that you think can only be scratched by the six inch barrel of a 44 Magnum. When a fella starts thinking like that, you best get boots on the ground and get moving. Because when you're out here with mother nature, you ain't got time to sit in your own head and think about stupid made up bullshit. When you're out here, you get to see the beauty of all this. The beauty of this spinning blue marble in space, man. That's probably the big problem with society today. We got too much goddamn time. Too much time to sit and twiddle our thumbs and think. But what do I know? I'm just a curmudgeon old man whose best friend is his dog. We are in the third week of February. Not good. If you take a look around, there is virtually no snow at all. 
and I got a feeling within the next couple of weeks the ticks are going to come out and they're going to be thick this year. got to be getting close. We're running out of daylight and I need to eat. What I had was a protein shake for breakfast. Chili and cheese is going to taste mighty delicious. As far as the onyx says, it says that the road ends here. It says I'm actually not even on the road, but the road's right there. It says like I'm 200 yards away from the road, so there's only one road. It's very, very cheesy. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Good stuff. I think that if I kept going, I would hit the Rainy Divide Trail, which is a trail that I do plan on coming back this spring and doing. It'll be a nice either a loop or a point to point. And I think point to point it is 15 or 16 miles but the bad thing is it's ridge walking not a lot of water so that's kind of what this trip was about today too was just kind of a scout see what that's all about but definitely be back the views aren't as good as i thought they were going to be so we'll check it out man